In this video, we will go over abstract classes. And for this explanation, we are going to get some help from someone who has been really special to me ever since I was a child. This person is joyful, optimistic, honest, non-judgmental, caring, enthusiastic, nurturing, accepting. And his name is John C. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we are going to discuss abstract classes with the help of John Cena and the world of professional wrestling. Now, every year, WWE release a new video game, and this year is no different. And great news! Vince McMahon, chairman of the WWE, has personally contacted you and asked if you could help build their video game. The job that they want you to do is simple. Build and code the professional wrestlers. Now, in my video on inheritance, which can be found by clicking the link in the description below, we spoke about how we could code hero characters in our Land of Heroes video game, where instead of using multiple classes, with every single method relating to the different types of heroes being implemented in each class, and having repeated methods across each class, we could instead have a superclass with all the methods common to every hero, like walk, speak, block, etc. implemented there, and then have subclasses for the different types of heroes with the methods specific to them being implemented in there. This would help decrease the amount of repeated methods, the amount of potential errors having to be resolved, and the time required to understand each class. When creating objects of the subclass, one would be able to use both the methods of the subclass and superclass at the same time. Moving back to our WWE video game, we could, in a similar way, code each professional wrestler, where we have a superclass professional wrestler with all common methods, and then subclasses representing the actual wrestlers, in which we can implement methods that are specific to them. Now, the professional wrestler superclass should have four methods, which represents four actions that every wrestler should be able to do. Those four methods are punch, kick, grapple, and signature move. Every wrestler should punch, kick, and grapple in the same way. So when calling the punch, kick, or grapple method from an object of the subclass, using the superclass's implementation should be fine. However, not every wrestler does their signature move in the same way. So if I implement the signature move method in the superclass to perform, let's say the RKO, then when inheriting the superclasses method from the subclasses, what I'm going to have is a situation where every single wrestler is going to do the RKO as a signature move. Now, I could just leave out the signature move method in the superclass and expect the creators of the subclass to implement their own signature move methods, which is a decent idea. However, I might get a developer who does not understand professional wrestling simply forgetting to implement the signature move method in their subclass. This brings us to abstract methods and abstract classes. An abstract class is a class that contains both normal methods with their concrete implementations, as well as unimplemented abstract methods. When a subclass extends an abstract class, it has the obligation of implementing all the unimplemented abstract methods found in the abstract class. In this way, the abstract class acts as both a superclass to inherit methods from, as well as a blueprint to show the subclass that to meet its requirements, it needs to implement those abstract methods. For example, if I had an abstract superclass, Professional Wrestler, and a subclass, John Cena, just by the fact that John Cena extends the abstract superclass, it has to implement the abstract method, Signature Move, to fulfill the requirements of being a professional wrestler. Please note that if John Cena itself was an abstract class, it would not have to implement the abstract methods. Moving on to a coded example of abstract classes, let's look at our Pro Wrestlers project, which can be downloaded by clicking the link in the description below. Looking at the Pro Wrestler superclass, we see the methods Punch, Kick, and Grapple, which all have concrete implementations. We also see the abstract method Signature Move with no implementation. Moving on to the subclass John Cena, we see an implementation of the abstract signature move method right here. Now, 
Let's move to the Undertaker subclass. If you would like, pause the video here, extend the Pro Wrestler superclass, and implement the abstract methods. Step 1 is to extend the superclass. At this point, you will get an error asking you to implement the abstract methods in the superclass. We could either resolve this error by implementing the methods or setting the Undertaker subclass as an abstract class. We would implement the abstract methods like so. Moving on to our main class, let's first create an object of John Cena and then call the superclass's punch method and then the subclass's signature move method. Then let's do the same with the Undertaker subclass. The output can be seen here. This brings us to the end of our explanation and the first video in this playlist. Thank you for watching.